Okay, let's do a similar problem to the last one, um, but this time we'll be calculating the density of a liquid, so that's going to be more dense, remember, than uh, the gas that we did the last problem, but probably less dense than the um, solid that we did the first uh, problem. But anyways, uh, we're calculating the volume again, so remember in density problems, density, mass, and volume. So it says, um, calculate the volume in milliliters, so that's important, of a liquid that has the density of 1.20 grams per mil. Remember, uh, liquids and gases are usually um, in units of milliliters and liters, respectively. And a mass of 5.00 grams. 5.00 grams. So we don't know the volume. And again, if you wanted to remember the density formula, you could, but um, you don't really need to because you've got grams and grams and milliliters, and you can figure out which one cancels, so, um, or how to cancel them, hopefully, by right now. 1.20 grams per one mil, like that. So this here, this density, this is just a conversion factor for whatever liquid this is. This is saying that for every one milliliter of this liquid, um, it weighs 1.20 grams. So just like what we did before, right, uh, one dozen, if you will, if you remember this example, equals 12 donuts, right? We use that as a conversion factor. So we can use this as a conversion factor too, and that's the cool thing about you know, doing things this way, and in chemistry you'll find a lot of these things. So you can use this as a conversion factor. So remember, we, with the dozen in donuts, we could have flipped it this way, one dozen over 12 donuts, or, because that equals 12 donuts over one dozen. Why do they equal each other? Because they both equal one, because they're the same thing, right? Because if you divide your, divide something by itself, it's the same thing. So in other words, we can flip this over. Okay. So why is that important? Well, in order to find the volume, volume we know is units of milliliters, so we want to have those on top. So if we just flip this over, one mil, one point two zero grams, multiply that by five point zero zero grams. Cancel, cancel out grams. So then we just get our calculator out and say 5 divided by 1.2 equals 4.1666666. So this is the 3 sig figs, so 4.166666 is higher than 5, so we're going to say 4.17, and you got to remember your units because. Your number doesn't mean anything without units. So they're saying, well, how many mils do you have of this stuff if you got five grams of it? Well, you got 4.17 mils. And does that make sense? Yeah, you should have less than five, five mils. Why? Because one mil weighs more than one gram, if that makes sense. So again, we didn't even have to do, we didn't even have to memorize that density stuff, right? So if you want to do it, Density equals mass over volume. You could rearrange this equation to get volume um, equals mass divided by density. And is that what we did? Try it on your own. See if that's what we did. Um, if we flip this thing over, it's like doing the inverse. So mass divided by density. Okay? So try it on your own. Um, it's interesting to see that they work out the same way. So hopefully there's no questions because the camera is stuck.